In tonight's final view, Monday night at the East Grand Forks School Board meeting, the school board accepted Superintendent David Pace's resignation, which will go into effect June 30th of 2016. Mr. Pace said, hey, he made the decision at this time because he's, he's been there now for nine years and it's time for him to look elsewhere. He also claims his resignation has absolutely zero to do with the East Grand Forks teacher Brian Perkins being put on paid leave for what seems to be no apparent reason, at least at this point. Now, Monday night's meeting, school board chairman Tony Polmasino said he reached out to Mr. Perkins and his family to offer him an apology on behalf of the school board. Apparently, the people in the audience, they're applauded at this. But here's the thing. You and I, the public, we still have no idea why Mr. Perkins was put on paid leave and what specifically was the board apologizing to Mr. Perkins and his family for? Look, I don't know about you, but I, I want to have some answers. These people are public servants. I want to know the truth. So again, we reached out to Superintendent Pace, and here's how the conversation went. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Obviously, we're trying to bring some levity to this, because Mr. Palmasino, Mr. Pace, you guys are public servants. I do believe that we deserve answers. We, the public, deserve the truth and yes i do believe that we can handle it we've reached out to mr pace mr policino again several times to come on here in pov answer the tough questions we're just asking for five minutes of your time to tell us hey what in the world is going on here sounds like you got a great teacher uh i don't know what happened being put on paid leave for we have no idea why so here's the deal if, if these gentlemen uh, that are public servants again they won't talk to me maybe they'll talk to you maybe you can call them contact them give them your best uh, tom cruise a few good men impressions there but again you can reach mr pace at this phone number this email and also you can contact uh, mr palmasino uh, at the grand forks school district and say look we just want to talk to chairman palmasino we want to find out what's going on with mr perkins why can't we get any answers obviously uh, and Mr. Perkins, if you can, tell them, hey, release the details. Let us know what's going on. If it's on you as well, let's see what the deal is so that we know uh, with transparency and certainty what the situation is. All right, let's get to some Facebook comments. We asked you earlier about uh, the resignation of Mr. P Pace. Marie Kessler says, no matter how you look at this, no one would have won in this situation. One group would have said he was doing favors if he didn't suspend him, and one group says he was unfairly suspended. Sadly, in this day and age of PC, all common sense goes out the window, and because of it, we lose so many good people who do a great job at their job. Instead of blaming one group or the other, maybe it's time to come together and figure out why we are ruining our own country and only blaming a few. Outstanding, outstanding comment. Now, be sure and join us tomorrow night here on 630 Point of View. Uh, I've got the day off because of the bison, but Scott Hennon's going to be hosting a roundtable. Plus, we are going to have a homeless veteran in studio to hear his story and find out, obviously, what you can do to make an impact as well. Then Monday, ginormous uh, Democrat presidential debate in Iowa on Saturday. Our D.C. bureau correspondent, Kelly Meyer, is going to be there. She's going to join us Monday to kind of break it all down and recap what happened over the weekend. So as always, thanks so much for joining us here on 630 Point of View. Head to our website. You can watch all past episodes. I'm Chris Berg, and that's tonight's Point of View.